President Biden is taking the challenge head on and is building a fair, orderly, and humane immigration system. That's our objective. After coming into office, uh, our administration immediately jumped into action to address the influx of migrants at the border, something that began during and was exacerbated by the Trump administration. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki just flat out lying to the press today uh, in regards to what's happened at our southern border, a complete fabrication of the real truth. Republicans in Congress are not having this. We're joined now by Congressman Jason Smith in Missouri, who is scheduled to actually go to the border tomorrow. Uh, sir, thank you so much for taking the time. It's great to be with you, Rob. Good to see you. Uh, your response to what you just heard there from Jen Psaki. You know, let's be clear, Rob. Biden created this crisis. He denied it even exists, and now he thinks he can buy his way out. I mean, Biden's plan to send billions of dollars to citizens of other countries with, with no strings attached is completely misguided and, and naive. And, and what's even worse, he's sending money to some of the most corrupt countries in the world, again, with no strings attached. And that's, that's clearly reckless. Yeah. This isn't a problem that you can solve by throwing money at it. You solve it by enforcing the laws and the books, cutting the incentives for people to come to this country illegally, and you send a message to the world that when you come here, you come here legally. Yeah, absolutely. And you wrote a letter to Biden's budget office about the plans to increase these payments to Central American countries. We want to just put a small piece of it up on the screen here. Uh, it is worrisome that the administration's solution isn't to reinstate those policies or replace them with workable solutions, but instead to funnel more money to pay countries to dissuade their citizens to break U.S. laws. And, and sir, we have tried this before. This wouldn't be the first time we've tried to pump uh, the Northern Triangle with money to try and make it a better place to live so everybody doesn't come here. You know, it, it, it's unacceptable. We've never pumped this kind of money. You're talking about $4 billion that, that Biden is trying to propose. What Donald Trump did while he was president, he understood what was needed, and he, he basically had strings attached, attached and threatened those countries that the existing fund, uh, the existing resources that you're already receiving and foreign aid from the United States, guess what? If you don't work with us, we're going to take it away. And during his time, Time, the money that was going to those those Northern Triangle countries, you saw a reduction of over 30 percent. And now, now Biden is just saying, hey, we're going to give you an additional four billion dollars. No strings attached. We just hope that you're going to work with us. It just shows how reckless his behavior is. Right, and it just shows how we, we just give way too much money to our own government. And they, they're just stupid with it, as we know, as we've always known. Um, Kamala Harris was appointed as the border czar 40 days ago. She has done almost nothing on this. Today she was pushing Biden's infrastructure plan in Wisconsin, but she did have a press conference early this morning on the root causes of illegal immigration. Let's take a listen. There are the long-standing issues, the root causes, and I'm thinking of corruption, violence, and poverty, the lack of economic opportunity, the lack of climate adaptation, and climate resilience, the lack of good governance, so now, basically, we're going to start talking about, you know, these climate refugees. And essentially, it feels to me that, that the administration's, their basic, uh, their response to this is anybody that doesn't live in a country as nice as ours or anybody where the weather gets bad for a while and they have a drought like Central America has uh, is just allowed to come here. They're, they're accepting that. You know, this administration has no sense of reality and what real Americans are feeling. The fact that she's in charge of the southern border, of the border crisis, and has failed to even show up 40 days after she's had it, shows yeah. that they have no real realistic expectation to actually solving it. The best way that they could solve the issues there is to, to reinstate President Trump's cooperative agreement that he had with the Northern Triangle countries. He could utilize the migrant protection protocols. He could end catch and release. Instead, they reversed all of that and they're saying, come to our country. We will give you free stuff. We will give you a $1,400 bailout bailout check that they got from the Biden bailout bill. It, it's, yeah. it's, it's crazy. You'll get free dental care if you cross over. This is not what people should be coming to our country for. They should be coming to our country for freedom, not free stuff. 
And now you're seeing the Washington Democrats, like Speaker Pelosi, passing two different amnesty bills throughout Congress just in the last couple weeks. They are only creating a larger problem. Couldn't agree more.